The U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, has approved the use of sound waves to break down tumors, a technique called histotripsy for liver treatment in humans. Pioneered at the University of Michigan, histotripsy offers a promising alternative to traditional cancer treatments, such as surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, which often have significant side effects. Recently, the FDA granted clearance to Histosonics, a company co-founded in 2009 by UM engineers and doctors, for the use of histotripsy to destroy targeted liver tissue. Since 2021, a human trial has been underway at the UM Rogel Cancer Center and other locations, treating patients with primary and metastatic liver tumors using histotripsy. The trial has demonstrated the technology's effectiveness and safety. Histotripsy is an exciting new technology that although in early stages of clinical use, may provide a non-invasive treatment option for patients with liver cancer. Hopefully, it can be combined with systemic therapies for a synergistic therapeutic effect, said Michelle Menderata Lala, professor of radiology with Michigan Medicine and principal investigator on the trial at UM. With FDA approval, Histosonics can now market and sell its histotripsy delivery platform, called Edison, to hospitals and medical professionals for liver treatments. The company is headquartered in Minneapolis, with advanced research and development located in Ann Arbor. Histotripsy works by using targeted ultrasound waves to form microbubbles within the tumor. The forces created as these bubbles form and collapse cause the tumor to break apart, killing tumor cells and leaving the debris to be cleaned up by the immune system. This could mean treatment without the physical toll of radiation or chemotherapy, fewer concerns with drug compatibility, shorter recovery times compared to surgery, and less treatment discomfort. The precision of histotripsy treatments ensures that the therapy targets only the tumor and not the surrounding healthy tissue, unlike radiation or invasive procedures. The Edison machine focuses high-energy ultrasound waves to create bubbles confined to the tumor region. In contrast, radiation affects everything in its path through the body. Additionally, the histotripsy system includes onboard diagnostic ultrasound imaging, allowing physicians to plan and observe the treatment in real time. This provides a live view of the bubble cloud and how the tissue responds to the therapy. Histotripsy's potential benefits extend beyond tumor destruction. In the past year, preclinical studies in rodents suggest that during the cleanup process, the immune system learns to identify cancer cells as threats. This can enable the body to continue fighting the initial tumor and activate a natural immune response to the cancer. In one study, even after destroying only 50% to 75% of the liver tumor volume with histotripsy, the rat's immune systems cleared away the rest with no evidence of recurrence or metastases in over 80% of the animals. Another study showed that histotripsy breaks down the cancer cell wall's cloak, revealing proteins known as antigens that the immune system can use to identify threats. These antigens are often removed during surgery or destroyed during chemotherapy and radiation. By destroying a cancer cell's outer wall, histotripsy exposes these antigens, allowing the immune system to target other cancer cells. We want to leverage histotripsy's immunostimulation effects and hopefully combine them with immunotherapy or drug delivery, said Jen Xu, UM professor of biomedical engineering, inventor of the histotripsy approach, and co-founder of Histosonics. That will move histotripsy from a local therapy into one that can treat tumors globally all over the body and eventually into a cure. In terms of cancer treatment, that will be the next step, and I feel very excited about the potential. Subscribe for more updates and see you in the next video.